Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome to London! Welcome to a bit of a different video! Mm. So, um, we're going to try and do a bit of a vlog for you today of this lovely exhibition that's on in London at the moment. You might have heard of it. Um, it's Perfume. a Somerset House. Um, it's a sensory journey through contemporary scent. Mm. Um, so it's meant to be very good. I've seen lots of other people that have been yeah. like their Instagrams and yes. things and it looks really fun and really different. Yeah. So um, we'll see what we can film for you. And then obviously if you haven't had the chance to come, maybe you want to, or um, maybe you live way too far away, you're never gonna come, but you get to experience a little bit of it anyway. Exactly. So it's actually really nice to have a perfume exhibition in London. It is. Because most of the perfume museums are in France. Yeah, <laughs> they are. So um, let's go in and have a look. Okay. room there is a number which you can see behind me this is number one and what you have to do is write down on a card your words that you would use to describe the smell um, in the room and so we're gonna write ours down and we'll show you them
road. So in this section, we need to paint the smell. So we've got paint, let me turn you around. So this is the table, this is the smell in here, and then we're gonna paint what we think the smell would look like in colour. Yeah. Okay, my picture is of sweets, because it smells like, it smells like sweets, but there's also a sun, because it's bright. Okay. It's to be a smile, but it was it was going to be a purple smile, and now it's just turned into a blob. <laughs> Mine is just a pattern, and we were lacking in a white paint, which I would have liked to have used to make pink. But in the absence of that, it's kind of bright and sunny, and is quite sweet as well. So yeah. Now this is interesting. It's a strange. Sack. <laughs> hanging down on a bag. chain. What does it smell like? It smells, well, I don't know. <laughs> it smells a bit earthy, woody. Betty Bear, maybe? Okay. Let me see what I think. Hang on. Oh, very woody. I mean, it smells like a church. Is that, that's what this is, isn't it? Like a confession uh, booth. Yeah, it smells just like a church to me. So here, we're smelling a teddy bear. A teddy bear's tummy. And it smells really, it's not nice. It's, I don't like it. But it I can't. It's quite um, plasticky in yeah. a way. It's kind of sweet. It's How funny is this? <laughs> that one's not so bad. It's that one, however. <laughs> Number six. Aha, uh -huh. yes. So we'd said. What have we said? We'd said yeah. um, dry, metallic. Yeah, and I'd said menthol and hard and camphorous. I don't know this fragrance, I have to say. But it has. Yeah, the aldehydes, ah, cedar as well. Uh, number seven is charcoal by Lynn Harris. So is that makes smoky? sense. Yeah, my gosh, it mm. definitely smelled like mm. a charcoal -y smell, didn't it? Mm. So this is the this is the painting one. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. So this is the um, one where we said, well, I said it was full of sweets, cookies. Vanilla, uh, yeah, but quite spicy as well. Mm. It's a memory of Morocco, mm. but a kind of dry spice. Mm. Number nine was oh, this was the uh, another Comme de Garcon. Okay, Avignon, frankincense. Yes, patchouli, labdanum. It was very dry. Yeah. Sandalwood, yeah, it's very it reminiscent dry. of the mm. church. And then lastly, number 10, Dark Ride. Now, I'm not going to lie, this, this was difficult, mm. makes me feel a bit sick. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's very I'm difficult just, to, it's not very palatable to me. No, I don't think so either. I'm just reading the description. Mm. It says things about Disneyland. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Adrenaline ridden memories of a theme park. Look. Well, if that's feeling sick, maybe that's right. <laughs> the scent notes of chlorine with mildew standing yeah. water and fog plunge the wearer back into their adrenaline ridden memories of a theme park. Yeah. I mean, it's clever. It's, it's really hard. It's quite hard to. I, I can understand it now, but I don't know that I'd wear it.
so that was really interesting and not really what I expected because it was perhaps not so educational. No, quite different to the Paris yes. Museum that we did the video on recently. It was more like your impressions of a sense, so it was really fun. Imaginary, to, yes. yes. And you, as you walked into each room and you smelt a perfume, you also saw like a visual cue, a yes. visual description of what that perfumer maybe had in mind or the brand had in mind. Mm. And my question to you was, as we were writing down our impressions of the scent or how mm. we would describe the scent, how much of a cue did we take from the way was the around room was us. laid out? Yes, if it had just been the smell in a plain, or you can't even say in a plain white room, because that would have an impression, impression on you as well. If they just yeah. blindfold you yeah. and gave you the, the scent, would you write different words down to what we did when yeah. we saw the room layout? Exactly. Um, and at the end, which I didn't film much of, I just a little clip, but um, there was a gentleman who showed us, you know, many different uh, raw ingredients mm. and how they make up some fragrances, yeah. but he talked a lot about the kind of social impact mm. on fragrance over the years. Mm. and. Um, that was very interesting, wasn't it? It was, and and also what was interesting was to smell some raw ingredients. So we smelled yeah. labdanum mm -hmm. in it, which is a resin yeah. in its raw form, and it smells like sherry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, the ambergris was very different yeah. to what I thought. Um, yes, because it was quite light and um, beachy and exactly. airy. Exactly, it was. And, Not and as it, animalic. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a really great um, exhibition. I think it's until the end of September. We'll link up um, mm. the website for it below if it's you fancy it. going along. It's definitely worth it. And it's in Somerset House, which is such a lovely place oh, by the beautiful. river in London. So you could make a day of it um, and it would be great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching um, this week. And we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. Bye.